I'm Hannah, and I come from, well, I originate from Portland, Oregon. Yay, that's where I live now, which is awesome. Um, but I started out as a mechanical engineer, like changed to electrical, computer engineering, like got into software, um, used to work at Intel, like now I work for Hypothesis, and I really love it. Like the people are awesome, and the project is awesome. Part I've enjoyed the most is just having like those conversations, like getting everyone in the room and out of their own little isolated annotation bubble and into the like you know broader annotation world and connecting with other people and seeing how like your use case isn't unique, you know. And like how like a solution that you want is also a solution that somebody else wants not necessarily for the same use case, but it would help everybody, which is really cool. And then you start to kind of, it's like very motivating and inspiring because you you start to like, your brain just like starts going really fast and you start thinking of all these like new cool ways and like how powerful just like that one little thing can be. What's nice that I've noticed um, is Hypothesis can kind of be like this base product that everyone else can build on. And that's, that's nice to see from a developer to see that, you know, like we're not fulfilling this little tiny market segment over here and that it's not applicable to everyone else and it can't be used anywhere else. I really feel like Hypothesis is like this base product that can be used by everybody. And I also almost want to take all of these other projects that people are doing and like enable them to be plugins on top of Hypothesis. I've noticed that um, citations and like the ability to connect annotations to other annotations is really um, something that I think all market segments could use and need. And so like that's kind of what I've been working towards today, like on Hack Day um, with Liza is is just starting to put motivations, which are different types of annotations essentially, um, into hypothesis. And like once we do that, then we can we can start to build those, you know, like citation annotations, which are essentially connecting, you know, connecting annotations from one document to annotation to another document. And like you can build this whole like web of connected annotations. And I think that's like very, very powerful. So motivations are, are what it's called in the W3 annotation spec, um, <laughs> which is very odd. But um, in but for example, like they could be, you could be questioning um, in your annotation. You could be tagging the purpose of your annotation in a way. You could be like tagging. You could be highlighting. Um, you could just be commenting, um, and you could be like linking or like citing. Um, another source with your annotation, right? Um, like where, where you got that information from, or maybe somebody else who uses that. Um, yes, yeah, so there's there's a bunch of those. And, and I think that the W3 spec intends for them to be extensible too. So in theory, like one day you could potentially like create your own customized motivations, right? For me, like, I've always been really into, like, machine learning and stuff, so it was nice to see that there were people at the conference that were doing that with annotations. Um, and I think for me, like, I'm really into the, like, fake news stuff and, you know, preventing, pre like, finding that and preventing people from thinking it's real, right, and identifying it. And I think, I think that's probably the thing that is, excites me the most about um, like building in that like motivation and that linking capability because once you can link things to their sources, you can trace things back to their source and you can identify um, little clusters of things that just link to themselves, right? And like that's obviously fake news right there, right? So like that's really exciting for me. Um, but also in like this is why I say that Hypothesis can kind of be like a um, a base product for other products because you can 
you can have these like machine learning tools that go in and like automatically create identity um, annotations and tag them and categorize them like and you can do that all on top of hypothesis.